All right, welcome to our tips tip number 11. This is the must know tidyverse features and we're going over group split. And what we're going to show today is this awesome chart here. We're going to show you how to make that. Uh, what we're going to do is do a linear regression for each one of these different models of ma or manufacturers of vehicles. And we're going to create a cool ratings table out of them to showcase the relationship between highway fuel mileage and city fuel mileage. And you're going to end up with this chart or this table. So to get started here, um, what you want to do uh, first, make sure that you sign up for the business science free R tips. There's a R tips newsletter instructions in the video notes. Um, and what you want to do is get uh, use that to get everything set up from the GitHub page and the R tips newsletter. So you get this um, emailed into your inbox every week. And um, so you can also get access to the GitHub repo. Uh, you're going to want to do a git pull and once you pull down the new files, you'll have this 011 group split. You just click in there and open up this 011 group split and this file over here will open up. All right. Uh, first things first, we got to load in some libraries. So we're, we're going to be using, uh, we're going to use tidyquant, tidyverse and broom. And then uh, we're going to use the GT package and font awesome package. Now font awesome is not on CRAN, so you'll need to run this line of code here. DevTools install GitHub or Studio font awesome. That'll give you access to this package. And once you do that, um, you'll be able to load in these libraries here and then we're ready to go. Uh, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to check out the data set that we're working with. It's this MPG data set. It's uh, a data set of 234 rows by 11 columns, manufacturer, model, displacement, year, and so on. What we're going to be focusing on in this lesson is the city and highway fuel mileage, and we're going to want to do like a grouped analysis. So we're going to be using this group split function. Um, group split is honestly a secret weapon in my arsenal. So what it does is it turns a grouped data frame into a list of data frames. And when once we have a list, we can then iterate over that. So that's an, what I call an iterable. It's called an iterable in other programming languages. Uh, but basically any list or vector we can iterate over with the map function. Um, the next thing, if you're interested in really learning iteration and function development, I covered this in week five of my DS4B 101-R course. Definitely check that out. It, this less, That week five is worth its weight in gold when it comes to iteration and function development. And I know that's where a lot of students struggle. Um, okay, so let's check out the group split. So we have a data set. We're going to um, first mutate this column here and convert it to a factor. And that makes it categorical, but it also helps me keep the order. So this as factor function, when I go to split, it'll keep everything in the right order. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is use the group by function. And this is used most commonly when you do like a group by and summarize, but we can also use groups to split. And that's what we're going to do right here. So we're going to use this group split function. So you can see we've got 234 by 11 with 15 different groups. Now we're going to split those groups into 15 different data frames. So when we do that, we now have all 15 of our data frames and they're split by manufacturer. And notice that it keeps the same order of the data set, which is really important uh, when you're going through an iteration. Okay, so that's how the group split function works. What we can do from there is then iterate. So iteration is the idea of running loops across all of these different list elements. So what we can do uh, is something simple um, is uh, do a linear regression where we do highway versus city. And how we'll do that is if we take our input, which is this group split. So each one of these elements has a data frame, a tibble. So this, for example, uh, data frame in the seventh position has an eight by 11 tibble. That's for Jeep. And it's got this highway column and or a, a highway column and a city column. And what we can do is we can then use this map function to take that data frame, which is an element of that list and plop it right in here. And then we'll do a, a linear model, which takes the highway versus the city. Okay. So if I run that, um, what I get is now, instead of 15 different data frames, I have 15 different linear regressions that I've just done. And you can see, we've got some coefficients here, um, for each of the different models. So, um, that's pretty cool, but what we can do is we can extend that with this tool called broom. 
So the power of Broom is we're able to tidy up our linear regression models and convert it into a data frame. So we're gonna use this function called Glance. And if you're interested in modeling or machine learning, uh, I cover these concepts in depth in week six of my 101 course. So definitely check that out. I know modeling, it's a hugely, hugely beneficial um, thing to learn for the business and it makes you super valuable to your organization. So definitely check out the 101 course if you're interested in going further with your modeling skills. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take uh, and extend this idea of mapping a linear regression and instead of doing um, just the linear regression, what we're gonna do is pipe it into this glance function, and then I'm gonna add a column uh, called manufacturer, which is gonna be the DF manufacturer, the unique manufacturer. So uh, before I run this, let's just kind of show you what the iterable looks like. So we've now split up our data frame in, by group. And what I'm gonna do now is use this map DFR function. So first I'll do the map function and I'll show you what it returns. And it returns a single uh, tibble that has the adjusted R squared. So if you remember we um, previously, it produced just a linear regression, uh, but that's not, not, not very helpful. What we want is we wanna know the strength of the relationship. So that's contained in the R squared, and we can get that from this glance function. And then I added this column manufacturer, which is just the unique manufacturer. So it's the unique uh, value that's in this column right here. Okay. All right. Um, so the map uh, function is great, but we want what we want to do is we want to actually bind all of these together. So you can do that using the map DFR function, um, and this converts it to a data frame row wise. So it basically stacks all of these on top of each other. So when I hit Control and Enter here, and uh, what that does it saves it as this Tibble Highway City. Uh, highway versus city tibble, and now I have all of my information about these linear regression models, and I now have the strength of the relationship here, and the adjusted R squared, and even the p-value um, to see how, how relevant each one of these uh, relationships are. Cool, but we can go even farther. So I just saw this awesome blog article from Thomas Mock. He works at R Studio. Um, I've met him several times. He's a great guy. Uh, so he has this uh, blog called The Mockup, and what he did was he came up with um, some a really cool um, way to showcase what you can do with the GT package. So I decided to take some of his code and kind of extend that for what we're working on. So he had this function in here called rating stars, and what this is going to do is help us produce these uh, convert ratings, which would be like a one to five rating scale. Um, into these stars using the font awesome package, which is another new package coming from our studio. So I'm going to run this and uh, this is a function. Um, I talk, I teach how to build functions uh, at in detail in my 101 course week, uh, week five of the 101 course. So um, I'm not going to go through the details here, but it's just a function. Um, and what we're going to do now is take our highway city tibble do a little bit of data wrangling to get just the columns that we need. So it looks something like this, manufacturer number of observations, the R squared, the adjusted R squared, and P value. Uh, I'm gonna convert this column here to title case. I'm going to then add a rating by cutting the, um, a, a new. I'm gonna add a new col column called rating by taking my R squared and binning it into five different bins. So that's what this does. So rating two, three, four, five, um, five being the best uh, because that's the highest R squared and one being the lowest, which is the lowest relationship between city and highway mileage. Um, and then we can uh, map this function called rating stars, which was created up here. That's the one that Thomas had created and it converts this into some HTML. Okay, and then we're gonna arrange this descending by R squared. Okay, once we do that, our data is prepared for the GT table. We can start adding uh, the GT elements to get close to this. So we're gonna do first convert it to a GT table. We've got our stars in here. We just need to do a little, a little bit of formatting. We're gonna add a header. We're gonna add a, a tab spanner, which adds this relationship strength highway versus city. Uh, we're gonna do some formatting. So first format these columns to number. 
Uh, we're gonna format the, um, the P value to three decimal places. We're going to then add some table styling to make the cell text a little bit smaller over here. And then we're going to add some column labels, which will uh, make these columns kind of pop out a little bit. Okay, and now we're done. Now you've just made this awesome chart and it really showcases um, the information. And we can see here that some of these, not all of the vehicles, um, not all of the manufacturers, I should say, have a high relationship between highway fuel, uh, fuel mileage and city fuel mileage. If you like this video, don't forget to sign up for the Tuesday Free R Tips newsletter. You can just click this uh, link here and it'll send you here. Put your email address in and every Tuesday you'll get these videos, you'll get the code, and you'll get the tutorial right in your inbox.